Welcome, today I'm going to be exploring kitchen lithography. Here are the tools you will need. I have some aluminum foil. This is heavy duty aluminum foil. I recommend that over the thinner stuff. You'll need some oil, regular cooking oil, like the sunflower oil is fine. Some acid, I'm using distilled white vinegar. A lot of people use cola. Get a bowl of clean, regular cold water. I have a lithocran and a Sharpie to attempt different drawing procedures. I have some tape and a sponge, just a regular sponge, a brayer, palette knife, and an oil-based ink. Lithographic ink is preferable, but I'm using relief ink here, and you also need some gloves. Oh, don't forget your spoon because that is how we're printing. We don't have a press here. So what I need to do is get a piece of aluminum foil. That's my drawing surface. I'm wetting a glass surface so I can smooth out the aluminum foil as best I can. Any little bumps that get in there are going to collect ink, so I want to smooth that out as best I can. I also want to tape that down. This first attempt is following a procedure from other YouTubers. I'm going to link to them below. You can check them out. They've had better luck, but this is just my attempt. And per their instructions, I am using some light water and sandpaper to sort of abrade the texture, trying to mimic the texture that would be in a litho plate or stone, train directions, and cleaning off with a sponge and a rag to just get rid of those little pieces of aluminum. I'm gonna start by trying to draw and write with a Sharpie. You make sure that you draw and write everything backwards because this lithographic process does reverse. Using the lithocran now, just drawing and writing again, trying to write backwards. Using the soap, the soap is pretty oily. It has fat in it and so it will repel water. Any of your drawing materials just have to repel water and you have to just draw and write backwards. That's the main thing between all these different elements. I need a sponge, I'm squeezing most of it out. I have a brayer charge and I have my distilled vinegar. I'm gonna apply the vinegar first. That's going to etch. If you're familiar with lithography, it's much like the etching process. And then this is like the rub up you would use with like asphaltum. I'm rubbing it into the drawing. Notice it is disappearing. The oil is dissolving the drawing into the rag. And then most of the drawing has disappeared, but what should happen is once I pass over with the sponge to hydrate very lightly the aluminum foil, and I pass over with my charred brayer, the image should come to life. In this first attempt, it took me a really long time. You can see it's sort of developing, but it's really, really slow. I was cautious and didn't have enough ink, a little bit too much water. And now you can see I'm slowing down here to show you that the image is starting to show up and it's mostly showing up in the soap and in the crayon, but I didn't really get anything from the Sharpie. Now I'm going to put a piece of paper down. This is just heavier office paper and I'm using a fair amount of force with my wooden spoon, peeling it up, seeing what happened. And I got an image, but it's really light. I'm trying again and this time I'm skipping the tape and I'm skipping the sanding. I'm just trying to do something similar to what I had tried in the past. And I have only used the crayon here, but again, I'm using the white vinegar. I'm using the oil, dissolving the image and now passing over. And what happened is what I have expected to happen and happened better this time, which is I get this kind of faint kind of ghost or residue. And you can see I have a little more ink and as I'm charging and passing over, alternating between hydrating with the sponge and charging with the brayer, it came up a lot more quickly. And again, using a lot of pressure with my hand and the wooden spoon, peeling it up. And I'm getting a pretty good translation. It's not super dark, but I think that looks a lot better than my first attempt. So clearly the sanding aluminum foil works for some people. It didn't work great for me. And I'm trying it again, just seeing if I can get a couple of prints. Let's see how they compare to each other. And they're kind of close, but clearly I'm not developing the best situation. This first one was a little bit darker. And so I just need to add a little more ink. So I add more ink and then I charged again, printing, printing, printing. And what's starting to happen, you can kind of see is I'm getting ink in areas I don't want. So when ink gets into the negative areas of the drawing, that's called scumming. So you can see there's a lot of scumming happening here. My attempt to resolve that was to put a little bit of that vinegar on the rag, dissolve or wash away and then recharge and try another print. And it looks like it worked pretty well. It got rid of the scumming. It also started to dissolve some of the image, but maybe some of those were areas that had scumming to begin with. So if you look at the four prints I had made, it got scummier and scummier and that rag with the vinegar was sort of like a counter etch or a cleansing pass. And I got rid of all of that excess scumming. And I tried one more time. These are just tests. I'm gonna hopefully make a video of me trying this a little bit more sincerely and get something consistent out of this, but I hope that helps. 